Hi! So we're Rita and Anthony and we're from Lithuania and England. We have self-converted a school minibus into a camper van and we've been living and traveling in it since July 2019. Yeah, and we've just completed a complete perimeter tour of Europe where we have now arrived in the south of Spain. So here they announced a lockdown two weeks ago and it disrupted our plans to go to Portugal and suddenly we needed to find a safe space to park the van on if that was possible at all. And we were parked up in a very remote location up a mountain. Um, then one day a medical officer passed by and told us we need to leave that area mm. and actually sent us into a very heavily populated area. That's just the way it went down but um, all public spaces had to be cleared. Gladly yeah. we were with um, two other friends that also live in a van and we were all for all four of us messaging everyone we know in the area uh, trying to find some information where we can still park what's allowed what's not so um, we ended up finding or someone thankfully offered us a place to stay mm -hmm. and all we needed to do was build a pathway to get our vehicles up onto the land and that's where we are now yes yeah, it's so great we're <laughs> safe and sound and yeah it's great <laughs> so our go-to quarantine meals include lots of veggies and chili stir fries curries lots of salads all the good stuff we have a big kitchen here so we can cook anything we want. <laughs> yeah, and we make a lot of herbal teas, remedies and things to bolster our immune systems in that way. And uh, I've been going through a lot of peanut butter as, as a kind of uh, staple food <laughs> in this time. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> um, so our life hasn't, our day-to-day -day life hasn't changed that much. Uh, we usually stay in nature away from cities and we work online we work inside our van and we had so many projects that we wanted to complete we are putting out videos of van conversion and a lot of other things so it's kind of it, it, it's, it's gone in a, line yeah. with what we were planning to do already um so we are mm. bunkering down working on things and uh, yeah now we have no distraction of of traveling around um so we'll be staying here um, you know, we have a business that has a warehouse. Most of the stuff we do is online. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, you know, everything calms down. If everyone stays, uh, you know, at home, it'll be a great thing. And even though we live and work on the road, we are staying put here mm -hmm. uh, because we don't want to cause a disturbance to anybody else and make a problem. Mm -hmm. And we're so grateful to have this place here and so grateful for people like, like the woman that owns this land that understands that we... That is our home and she allowed us to come in and park yeah. our van here. All right. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. My name is Josie and I live in the interior of British Columbia, Canada. Ski resorts were one of the first big businesses to close. So now in my daily life, instead of getting up, going to work, going snowboarding, all that fun stuff, I sleep in until 11 and stay up until 2 in the morning. I have been trying to get outside because it's a very kind of secluded bubble up here. It hasn't really affected my living situation because there's a staff only RV park at the resort that I live at and they're letting everybody stay here which is pretty sweet. Uh, my go-to meal is peanut butter, rice, and vegetables and I know that sounds weird. Uh, stay safe out there everybody. Go outside, away from other people, wash your dirty fingers, try to eat well, try to be active, sleep well, try to not wear pajamas all day. That's kind of what I've been doing. Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm Mike, and we are Me, Mike, Marie. You can find us on Instagram. We're in our lovely RV Marie right now. Originally, we're from Kingston, Ontario, but currently we're in Kelowna, British Columbia. Uh, when the call came in for all folks who are living on the road to head back to Canada, we were in Moab, Utah, uh, doing some hikes, and it took us about two solid days of driving to hit the nearest Canadian border uh, from where we were at that time. Uh, what's our favorite self-isolation meal? 
What's our favorite self-isolation meal? Uh, we have been doing a lot of pantry surprise. We didn't have a great opportunity to grocery shop before we crossed the border. Uh, and in trying to do self-isolation right, we just went through our dry supplies. We've been having a lot of chili with our dry beans and rice. And thankfully now we have our uh, microwave oven plugged in, so we're able to make a lot of bread, which has been a silver lining. Yeah. In terms of day-to-day -day life, things look a little bit different. Uh, when we crossed in Alberta, we navigated to our closest family, which was in Kelowna. Uh, and thankfully, we've been able to park uh, in their driveway full time. So we are plugged into electricity and to uh, water for kind of the first time uh, on our trip. And in any sort of significant way, uh, we Mike has been able to do a lot more of the small renovations uh, and jobs around the RV that he had been putting off. Um, you know, we've been doing our best to support our communities virtually, um, and we've had a lot more time for the Tiger King. Mm -hmm. Uh, this has affected my job in an interesting way. I work on the road doing some research work and uh, I finally had time to actually do it. So that's been nice. I've been actually been able to get my work done uh, while also playing Zelda like it's my day job. <laughs> so, uh, it's been a wild ride and uh, we're looking forward to when things settle out, being able to see everyone back on the road, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, hope everyone's keeping safe and uh, it's nice to have this virtual community in a time of, you know, great uncertainty and social distancing. Hey guys, I am Jessica Fossey. My husband Tyler and I are at Ball of the Fossies and we are full-time van lifers in our 1984 Dodge camper van, which is what I'm in right now. Tyler is working today, so he will not be joining us, but I will be speaking for us both. Um, we have been in our van for two years now and we are in Squamish, BC. We are both working, as I said, full time. I'm working as a recreation therapist at a long-term care home and Tyler is a carpenter. So obviously for me working in healthcare right now has been very challenging. Um, and we don't have an unlimited supply of water here in the van. So stuff like our hand hygiene and washing our dishes has been kind of challenging. There's not as many places open to go fill up water and get some of the things that we need. So just factoring that into our uh, schedule every day has definitely been a challenge. After work every day, we're making sure that we have that conversation of, okay, like, do we have enough water, propane, gas, food, and making sure that we're on top of that because um, you start to feel very vulnerable when you're out there and you don't have what you need. So that's been a huge challenge for us also. Um, we don't have a lot of family here and the friends that we do have are all living in vehicles or in smaller places that can't house us or have parking for us. And our family's all back in Ontario. So the van is our safe haven right now, and we do feel very safe in it at the moment. We're open to the idea that if things get a bit worse and we're starting to feel vulnerable, that we would go get a hotel room. But for now, we're okay in here. Um, we do live in here with our cat, so that's another thing, is that we want to make sure that she's got a safe spot as well. We can't just abandon her. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely been a challenge. Um, we don't have a washroom in here, and showering has been a big one. There is a community center that we've been using for the past while and it recently closed at first when this all came about. It just opened up again, I believe, that it's two hours a day, two people at a time. So we would have to prioritize that into our schedule. And um, for with the washroom, we're using public washrooms as when we can and just washing our hands really well after. And we do have a bucket in here that we will use at nighttime or if we're in a pinch to pee in. So keeping on top of cleaning that. And yeah, it's just that added stress to our daily lives so far of, you know, making sure we're keeping the van clean, we're keeping ourselves clean. I can't go into work with any kind of dirty clothes or, you know, not having showered or washed myself right now. So just making sure that I'm at my best for them and keeping them safe. So yeah, it's been difficult. We really appreciate having this platform to speak on and, you know, being able to share our experience so far. We're very thankful for the van life community and we hope you guys keep up the good work on keeping us all connected. Bye guys, thank you for letting us talk. Hello, my name is Raleigh Campbell and my partner Oliver and I both live in this Toyota Chinook in the Bay Area, California. And then we also live part-time in Germany where he is from in a converted Sprinter. And right now we are lucky enough to be staying at family's house in the Bay Area while they're staying somewhere else. So we actually have a place to stay. Um, it's been very interesting since all of this started. Oliver's been here from Germany. He got in just before the borders closed, but now we actually don't know when he's going to be able to fly home. 
or when we'll be able to get back to Germany. But we're here spending all of our time doing woodwork. We're both traditional woodworkers, make bowls and spoons and such. And that's what we're doing with almost our entire time. It's, um, it's what we would like to have be part of our work. And personally right now, all of my work is canceled and I'm trying to move into work digitally so that it goes better with travel and van life. But otherwise, right now, everything's been canceled because it's been usually teaching. And we were planning on going to the UK for a month, but all of that was canceled. We were going to go to some woodworking events. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you wanted to know what our favorite go-to meal is. Ever since this started, we've actually now started a potential tradition of every Sunday we've been making um, oat pancakes that have been really, really delicious. And it's given us something to like look forward to every week and have as a, like a moment to slow down because otherwise I don't personally feel like I'm really slowing down with this time. It feels like because work is canceled and life has shifted so much that in order to know that I can keep going when everything is done, when this wraps up or, you know, starts to progress in a different way that I, I have something under me, like I have enough supply or something to take on the road again. Uh, otherwise, we're also working on Jimbo. We took the time, we tore out almost the whole inside and are going to hope to redo him, but it's a little challenging right now with so many places closed. Yeah. Is there anything else? <laughs> I'm just, I really loved the, the community and support in this time that I really feel like there is a, like more of a network or like a, like the mycelium in the soil with the van life community that I feel like I'm connecting with more people than I have beforehand, checking in on each other and seeing how things are going and sharing stories. And that's been really, really, really sweet. Thank you. Hey, for those of you who don't know who we are, my name is David, this is Logan, and this is Bella. Mm -hmm. And we run a channel called This Is Wild. Which you are watching right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll get into how um, this has changed kind of our lives. Yeah, so we're located in the GTA area, which is like north of Toronto. And for the most part, it hasn't really affected our lives that much other than we're given a lot of time now to work on our business, mm -hmm. which is a massive blessing. Um, we're kind of splitting time between the van and David's mom's house and we're parked in my parents' driveway right now. So it's given us time to really slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, I know for a lot of people it's changed a lot for us. It hasn't changed too much. Mm -hmm. As we, as Logan said, we've kind of taken on a few other projects, stuff we haven't had the time to do yet, mm -hmm. which is really good. And the only thing that's majorly changed is we can't get in the van and randomly go mm -hmm. on a two hour drive or wherever we want to go, which is such a privilege to begin with. So we're not fretting too much over that. Yeah. So what have we been eating? What's our go-to community quarantine meal? I'd say we don't have a go-to as of yet. Mm -hmm. We're kind of just always exploring new options for food yeah. all the time. And that hasn't changed at all. Um, one new thing we've been doing is Logan's family has chickens. So we've been trying to kind of do some interesting meals with eggs. Yeah. Really good, really nice, healthy eggs. Um, so that's been fun. We always eat avocado toast. Mm -hmm. We pretty much have the same kind of circling meals all the time when we're not in quarantine so mm -hmm. we're lucky to have a lot of food with us and a lot of hunted meat and fresh eggs with us all the time mm -hmm. um things that have changed majorly in our day-to-day -day life is we definitely sleep in a lot more than we should um we watch more netflix than we should but other than that we're given the opportunity to have the free time to do things that we want to be doing like i like reading a lot david's been working on something with my brother in my backyard just that kind of stuff. We have more creative time. Yeah, we've been really fortunate where this whole experience hasn't changed too much of our lives. Mm -hmm. And we really feel for those people who it has in a hard way for them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just trying to make the most of it. And yeah, it sucks. We can't all go see our friends and hang out and be social creatures like we really are. But you know, what? we're just trying to make the most of it. Like Logan said, her brother and I, are, we're just kind of building stuff in the backyard, whatever we kind of want to. So. Mm -hmm. 
that's keeping us creatively occupied and it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And I've been just tweaking up the van and that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess to close it all off, if anyone at all is interested in having a van conversion consultation through us, which we do offer, it's on our website. During this time will be awesome if we could offer a 20% discount to anyone who's interested in having a consult with us. We know that times are tough with money for everyone, so that would help um, anyone who's interested in it, and it would help our business as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have the time to help you and offer our resources. And if you need support in any other way, other than just consults, reach out to us. We're happy to see if we can connect you with someone who has a driveway for you to park on, mm -hmm. or just talk about the situation with you. That way we can all stick through it together. I think that's the biggest thing. This community is so strong and we can just stick together through this whole thing and come out the other end with so many meetups to attend to meet all of you guys and just as a community even stronger than ever yeah we want to thank everyone again for submitting the videos mm -hmm. we got so many that we couldn't even put them all in yeah so thank you so much for reaching out and telling your story because that means a lot and i'm sure a lot of people appreciate hearing it from you yeah so we hope you all stay safe and um make sure to you know be nice to one another yeah and reach out to everyone give people support because we're all going through this together and as much as it doesn't seem like it we all feel the same way yeah, yeah. we'll see you next time guys okay. bye guys